there are always new things to learn. When we moved to Haiti, uh, I had so many things to learn. There was so much I didn't know about how to live in rural Haiti, and I needed help from people to know what to do and what not to do and how to do things um, with the way we were living. And um, But sometimes I felt like I was about 18 months old because I felt like you know, I didn't know the language well. I couldn't speak in complete sentences. I couldn't do anything without somebody helping me. And just, yeah, it just felt, um, sometimes I wanted to tell people, you know, I used to be somebody. I used to <laughs> have a job. I, I know things. Uh, but anyway, I had to, I had, I had to have help. But uh, the day came when I, decided I was going to butcher a chicken and I thought I don't need anybody's help to teach me how to butcher a chicken. So I butchered the chicken and, and uh, I had it in the kitchen. We had an outdoor kitchen. It was at the little thatch shelter and we had a charcoal grill in there. And so I had started the charcoal. I got it going. I had heat. I had the kettle on. I had the water hot. and I had the chicken in the kettle and I thought, you know, I know how to butcher chicken. I know how to cook a chicken. I don't need anybody's help. Well, that was that was wrong. Um, I had the chicken in the kettle when our neighbor lady came into the kitchen and she said, Pastor Merle, what are you doing? And I said, I'm cooking a chicken. Well, she took the lid off the kettle and looked in and she could tell right away that I needed help. I didn't know what I was doing. And she said, where is the head? I said, well, it's out in the cornfield. Well, go get it. So I went and retrieved the head. She cleaned up the head, put it in the kettle, and then she's looking. She said, where's the feet? Well, they're out in the cornfield too. And so I was retrieving chicken parts from the cornfield, things that I should not have thrown away. And she got my chicken reassembled and got it, put, got the pieces that I, we were supposed to be eating back into the kettle the way it was supposed to be. Uh, you know, you can eat chicken feet. There's there's a little bit of meat on a chicken foot. And um, so I learned something new. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I needed help even when I didn't think I needed help. And that's just the way it is sometimes in life.